We're in Peachtree City, Georgia, and we're going to talk a little bit about properly painting your mailbox. Um, first, we'll go over some of the tools that are needed. As with any paint job, surface preparation is going to be key, so I recommend a um, wire brush and sandpaper to remove any loose paint. After that, we're going to clean the mailbox. We'll use a solution of water and simple green with a sponge. Um, we've got some blue tape to tape off any areas that you don't want to get painted. Um, for painting, we're going to use um, a satin black finish. I recommend satin um, as opposed to flat or gloss. It's going to just give you a little bit of a shine and it should hold its gloss longer. And then finally, uh, a drop cloth just to keep uh, the paint off any surrounding areas. The first thing we're going to do is remove the flag from the mailbox so we don't paint that. So there's a pin in here, we'll just pull that out and then the flag comes right off and that'll be out of the way while we're prepping and painting. We're going to take the wire brush and just get any of this uh, loose paint off. Now that we've gotten all the loose paint off, we're going to take our sandpaper and just scuff sand uh, the whole mailbox. Now that the mailbox is sanded, we're going to go ahead and uh, wipe it down with some simple green and water. So we'll add about a tablespoon of simple green into about a gallon of water. We're going to go ahead and do a fresh water rinse to get any remaining detergent off. Now that the mailbox is rinsed off, we're just going to give it a few minutes to dry and then we'll be ready to start painting. The mailbox is clean, dull, and dry. We're going to take some blue tape, cover the numbers, and get ready to paint. Paint has been shaken. We're ready to go ahead and paint. One thing you want to keep in mind, you want to keep the nozzle about six to eight inches away from the surface when you're applying the paint and keep the spray paint in constant motion so you don't have excessive buildup. Paint has dried so we can remove the tape. The last step is to reinstall the flag. So that was a total of about a half hour and we have a totally repainted and beautiful mailbox.